Slap that. Give me my name. It was Agatha. It was Agatha. It was Agatha. <laughs> it was Agatha. Woo! It was Agatha all alone. Alone. Agatha. Oh. Agatha. My motherfucker. What you doing to her? Doing to wonder where the kids at? Wear your witch hat. Where Mephisto at? Agatha. What you doing to those children? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Chosen Wisdom. And it's your girl, Divergent Curl. Yes, sir. And today we are going to react, discuss, break down, and all that shizzle shazzle. One Division episode eight. Called Previously On. Previously on. Mm. Sounds ominous. It does, guys. Before we start, smash the like button. Turn on your notifications and subscribe. Yes, guys. Subscribe. Before we go into this one, let's quickly, quickly, quickly recap what the heck happened in episode seven. Because episode seven was the best episode ever. Yes. It was the best episode. And I know every single episode we say this, but <laughs> I do genuinely think each episode has got better. Yeah, progressively. So before we watch previously on, let's recap what we previously watched. See what I did there? Previously. You used the word previously twice. In two sentences. In two sentences. Yes. Yeah. Episode seven saw us take a trip to the year 2000. Mm -hmm. It had a, a 2000 style, yeah. the costumes, the humor, the fact that they were talking directly into the mm -hmm. camera. Breaking that fourth wall. Breaking that fourth wall. Mm. We said it reminded us of Arrested Development. And Modern Family. So we had that kind of feel to it. Mm -hmm. We find Wanda and she is depressed. Yeah. And she's in bed. And it seems as if she wants a day to herself. Mm -hmm. She needs it. Exactly. So we, we get the feel that today, or at least the episode, was going to be about Wanda. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, but it was also about a bunch of other people. Darth Former didn't become a Darth Former. She was just a circus escape artist. <laughs> it seems as if she's losing a bit of control mm. of her powers. It keeps flickering to and from the decades. Some of the furniture looks looks like it's from the 50s and mm. her TV would look like it's from the 60s. And so we see that throughout the episode. Is she losing control or is something else going on? We also saw during that part when the milk cartons were changing decades, there was a missing persons notice on one of the milk cartons mm. from the earlier decades. And we also spoke about that. We discussed who it could be and what the impacts of the story could be. Mm. We get to see how big the hex has become. Mm. And my lord, this thing is huge. Unfortunately, Wayward is still alive and he is still up to no good, plotting, doing his crap, doing his foolishness. Yes. Thank God Vision is alive. Mm. He sees Darcy and they connect. Yeah. But of course, you know, Darcy is not Darcy. And unfortunately, she's not Darcy former either. But it's not that bad mm -mm. because they have a chat. And throughout the whole episode, Darcy explains everything to Vision. Yeah. Explains how Vision was born, mm. why he's there. She more or less goes through the Avengers all the way from the first Avengers to Endgame. So Vision at this stage is very, very clued up. Yeah, man. He's got the full rundown, the spoiler edition, mm. multiple spoilers, connective. Everything. I'm surprised. He probably knows your comments as well. <laughs> he's, he's, he's probably got your theories. Yeah, it's true. Agnes, Agnes, Agnes. Mm. She comes in. And in fact, you know what? Wanda opens the doors with her powers. So we're seeing Wanda using her powers more and more openly, yeah. more and more freely as time goes on. But anyway, Agnes comes in conveniently, of course, at the right time and offers to babysit the kids. Mm -hmm. And she finally gets her hands on them. She gets them alone and takes uh, them back to hers. Huh. Where would we now know your plan? Was always to get Vision back all mm -hmm. along. It wasn't to save no people or to do nothing, was to get 
his weapon back. Mm. So he can use it to kill more people, as you do. We were introduced to Monica's connect. Mm -hmm. And some of you guys had your theories about who her connect was. Her connect is Agent Goodner. Kind of know who she is. We get a small backstory, but how important is she going to be? Is she a scroll? Is she a scrub? No, I'm joking. Is she she a scroll? I doubt we're going to find out in this episode. We see another advert. Mm. And this advert is about depression and basically not facing reality. Yeah. Creating your own reality when you are depressed. Yeah. Which we see Wanda has done. Clearly. And then we are introduced to Nexus Mm. in the advert. And I know some of you guys have informed us of who Nexus are and what the heck they do. Mm. There's a scene which is quite chilling, actually, where Wiccan couldn't read Agnes. Mm. Her arms were around them. And they're all smiling and laughing with this woman. And Wiccan says, it's quiet here. I can't read you. I like it here. Yeah, yeah. So after Monica gets her special vehicle, Amazon delivered it quick. Mm. As we expected, it didn't get through the hex. No. This girl decided to go through by herself. And we all saw what happened when she did. Yes, people, the transformation was epic. Yes. I love that transformation. It was just perfect. The way she finished with one knee on the ground, looking down, Mm. that is the superhero pose. It is, fully. That's what you do when you transform. Yeah. You put one knee on the ground, you put one hand, and then you look down. Yeah. Then you slowly look up, then you breathe. That's yeah. she did it. Yeah, so it don't it don't make sense why so many Americans are upset about taking a knee because <laughs> it's the superhero pose, like world renowned superhero Monica, pose. Monica, we see you. You took that knee. Your eyes turned blue. But um, yeah, amazing. Many of you guys have your theories of who she is, what her name is. It's Photon. Um, Spectrum. We'll see what we'll see mm-hmm. what they decide what name did they decide yeah. to slap on her. They haven't even given Wanda her real name yet, her true name. They haven't said it out loud these yet. So let's get that these name. These guys out ain't first. giving out names, you know. They hold on to these names. <laughs> Give me my name. <laughs> Monica, using her super speed I presume, confronts Wanda. Mm. And we get this heart to heart and we discuss this at length about, you know, the fact that they are both traumatized Mm. people both overcoming their own fears and their their connection is is deep yeah she's been one of the only characters it seems so far to be able to get through to Wanda in in a different way so no we discussed all of that guys Mm -hmm. and you know thank you as always yeah for your interactions and for your comments and you know the last scene towards the end we get the big reveal of course a lot of you guys have already said it some of you guys have said it from the first episode. It was Agatha. It was Agatha. How much of it was Agatha? That's my question. What's going to happen? How strong is this Agatha Harkness? How mm-hmm. strong is she? And I killed Sparky too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I laughed my head off. <laughs> <laughs> that was jokes that bit if you guys go back and check the reaction I laughed my head off that was the funniest thing that actress is on fire I love her depiction of this character R.I.P. Sparky though yeah though it's true Sparky you're one of the good ones man R.I.P. man Mm-mm. he died in a bush not shepherd's bush an actual bush I also enjoyed this scene where Scarlet Witch got introduced to Monica's powers. Mm. She thought she was the baddest on the planet. Then Monica said, hold my tea. Because she's British, like us. Hold my tea. (laughs) So yeah, that scene was so crazy. Like That scene was so cool to see Mm. these two strong women going, not really head to head, but, you know, facing off in a way. So, are you ready? Mm Mm-hmm. We're ready, guys. Um, before we start watching this one, we got some quick shout outs. Yeah. Thank you guys for your interaction, for your comments. And we got just a few shout outs, just a few mentions, because you guys have been coming up with so, so, so many unique theories. Mm. And speaking of theories, shout out to Young A and Ziggy and others for pointing out around the Nexus tablet in the depression advert. 
or the Mindstone advert. Was it the Mindstone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the Mindstone advert, the Nexus or Nexus beings are beings that can exist in multiple universes at the same time and they have multiple versions. Mm. So Wanda's one of those beings and so is Spider-Man, which is why you get to see Spider-Man in multiverses and stuff. Okay. You guys also dropped some interesting theories around Agatha, some of which we kind of got to see play out and some of which you've added to since. Mm. I pointed out in our reaction to episode seven that the brooch, Agnes seems to be wearing a brooch in every scene where something magical is going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Steve mentioned that he thinks Agatha might actually be trapped in her brooch and actually maybe Agatha's also being controlled. We also had some theories around who Agent Goodner might have been. So we posed a question in our last reaction about who is Agent Goodner, how important will she be going forward? Yeah. A couple of people, including Shadow Breed, have said that Agent Goodner is going to be Monica's childhood scroll friend. So if you oh. go back to Captain Marvel, there was a child yeah, 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 of yeah. the couple that came to stay with them. Hmm. So it could be that character, which would be Shadow. interesting. We also posed a question around the kids. Where are the kids? What's going to happen with the kids? Where are they? Call the social services. <laughs> and Mark had a crazy theory that Agnes is going to take them back into the TV. Mark, you crazy. <laughs> but we know anything could happen in this in these Ooh, shows. So ooh. that is interesting, Mark. Mm. That is that's sad. If that happened, that would be quite sad. We also had some interesting theories around the fake Pietro picked up there was a cicada noise the, the noise of the bugs when Pietro showed up at the door and there was also a cicada bug in Aggie's house a shape-shifting cicada bug that is crazy but it makes sense you know Chris thinks it is the Pietro from mutant universe yeah but that his memories are being suppressed in a similar way that like norms is and everyone else in the town by yeah. but this time by Agatha. I've seen a lot of people who are saying that Agatha is suppressing mm. her memories, not Wanda. Also wanted to give a special mention to Stephen, who has a theory about Dottie actually being a sorceress from Marvel's Squadron Supreme. I don't know much about the Squadron Supreme, but Stephen thinks it, that she could actually be a love interest potentially for Doctor Strange. Her magic presents in a yellow form, which would fit the theme yeah. of the yellow flowers outside flowers. Dottie's house, red flowers outside Scarlet Witches, and the purples outside Agatha's. Each of their magics have those colourings. Steve. Mm. All right. I think you're slick. I salute you, sir. Mm -hmm. Last week I gave a shout out to somebody and I pronounced their name wrong, actually. And I found out how to pronounce it. And it's even cooler than I thought. Sorry for saying Lauch. It's actually Leok. And it means warrior in Celtic. Celtic. I think that's so cool. Celtic warrior. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we all know who that is. Silly. <laughs> <laughs> And the final shout out goes to my girl Tiana, who is with me on the emotional roller coaster of getting to see Photon, aka Spectrum, aka our lovely Monica, transform into that wonderful superhero. She doesn't look like a typical superhero, does she? Mm -mm. She doesn't look like it. And that's what's good about Monica. Monica. Monica can. She can do anything. She's going to save Wanda. I think so. Mm. I think so. Thank you for your comments. Yes. Keep them coming. Yes. We only have two more episodes to go. But check out our other videos. We have done a reaction to The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. Trailer. Um, every single MCU project that comes out this year, we will be watching. Mm -hmm. We will be reacting to, reviewing and breaking down. So stay with us, guys. It's going to be a big, big yeah. Yeah. And look out for our next video, guys, where we're going to run through all the MCU projects mm. in 2021. Any predictions before we watch quickly? Just that I think we're going to get some answers, but as some, a lot of you rightly pointed out to me in the comment section, we're not going to get all the answers. I'm so. putting you on the spot right here. <laughs> Fully. Go on. I... I've got to like lower my expectations because I wanted like everything tied off and answered because I ain't waiting a year till the multiverse of madness to understand some of this shit. Oh, no. That's the problem. I, I think what can they do in two episodes? Can they really wrap everything up the way that we want them no. to in two episodes? What are they going to do? Because if this is a throwback episode, how much is it going to advance the storyline? Yeah. Who knows? But so we are probably going to yeah. see Vision come back. We're going to see Monica, which we didn't even mention. The end credit scene, Monica and Quicksilver. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
I do think maybe that's misdirection with Agatha, that it's not just her, or it's going to be something else behind her. Maybe we'll get to know a bit more about that in this episode. So, without further ado, let's go. Previously on Wonder Pigeon. Wonder Pigeon. Previously on WandaVision. Born to Irina and Oleg Maximoff, both killed during an air raid. The twins were subsequently radicalized, volunteering at Hydra. Maximoff stormed their facility. Stole the vision's body and resurrected it. Wanda killed me? Yes. You asked her to do it. I can't. You can't. I came back and died again. No! Crazy, man. That happened to you, bro. Where are the twins? You were just playing in the basement. I didn't think you were the only magical girl in town. The name's Agatha Harkness. Lovely to finally meet you, dear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely to finally meet you, dear. Senior Scratchy. Aww. Come on, Wanda. Don't do an Anakin on us. Don't do an Anakin. Turn back to the light. No. M mash some people up first. <laughs> and then turn back to the light. Oh, it was all purple. I saw that. Mm, we're taking it back to Salem. Oh. No. No, the Salem witch trials. Mm. It's a real thing that really happened. Agatha Harkness, are you a witch? No. Yes. Oh. I am a witch. Honesty. You have betrayed your coven, dull knowledge above your age and station. You practice the darkest of magic. No, I know nothing of these crimes. Where is enough deception? I did not break your rules. They simply bent to my power. Mm. The real Agatha comes out. No, no, I cannot control it. Mother. Wow. Mother. Natural. Natural. Ooh. That looks painful. Wow. Purple. She's drawing their powers now. Whoa. Crazy. So she's draining their life forces, I'm assuming, to be able to take an everlasting or long life. Hmm. Your own mother. You're taking hers too. Okay. She's powerful. Okay. See? <gasps> Damn. They need some face cream. E45, baby. Cocoa butter. No, you cannot. Why is she still trying? Whoa, look, she's that crown. Of she's like the queen, whatever you want to call her. Mm -mm. Oh, man. Wow. Killed your own mother. Mm -mm. We all saw that coming, didn't we, guys? So how powerful is she? I guess she's pretty strong. Mm. Callous. That's the brooch right there. I'm guessing the brooch of the Queen of the Coven. Wow, it's like when a murderer takes something from their victim. I know, I'm shocked to meet the realist. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Wanda? That's adorable. Don't go giving yourself a migraine. Ask mm. question, where, where are your kids? You? There we go. Woo, that accent really comes and goes. What? Oh. Your magic's no good here. Oh, damn. Oh, Nothing. the House of M. How do you not know the fundamentals? Who are you? Who are you? All those costumes. Wait, feel your true self. I got close with fake Pietro. Pietro. <laughs> a crystal possession. There you go, guys. And he is a manifestation. Crippled by your own self-doubt that you believed it. Mm -mm. I sensed this place. So many spells cast all at once. There you go, the cicada. Mind control. A classic. Quick incantation, and you're good to go. <laughs> Complex storylines. Wow, that's something special, baby. Yeah. Mm. That's power. Here's a study to achieve a smallest convincing illusion. Oh, so she jealous. A it comes naturally to wonder. You're even running illusion files away. Magic on autopilot. 
There's levels to this shit. I need you to tell me how you did this. I don't think she knows. I'm not. She's gonna create the Scarlet Witch. I'd rather fall apart than face your truth. That's what Monica said. Face her truth. All you could recall. You felt empty. Nothingness. Mm. Are we gonna see some shit now? It's time to look at some real reruns. Oh, here we go. Mm -mm. All right. What's in the closet? Don't open the closet. <laughs> no. Oh man, she's forcing her to relive traumas. Like this is not cool. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Literally. Mama. Oh, oh, that's look. why. Theory we was right. right. We were right. Bewitched. I love Lucy. TV night. Mm, excuse for them to speak English. Here we go. Wanda, do you pick? Malcolm in the middle, it's in there. Yeah. I forgot. I saw it. Oh, wow. Season 2, episode 21. The Dick Van Dyke show. Van Dyke Always sit on sit. What's the shenanigans called Blend? More scary than scary? Hmm. Mischief, yeah. Chaos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all making sense. It's all coming full circle. We're tying everything up now. It was actual episodes. Imagine. Mm -mm. It's good that we now that we now have a visual representation, you know, because it's all good us hearing it. But now, now that we get to see it, we will definitely understand her more. Yeah, look at that TV night with her parents. Stark industry bomb. The toaster. Wow, and she still worked with Tony after all of that. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, she was against the Avengers, wasn't she? Probably, yeah. That's why there was a loud noise in the bedroom scene outside. You realise? It was all a bad dream. Did you stop that bar? You used a probability hex. No, it was defective. We were trapped two days. Mm -mm. Two days with a ticking bomb waiting for it to go off. You were safe as kittens the whole time. Where'd you get the big guns? Ooh. I don't want to go back there. But it's good medicine, Angel. When did they do it? This is so insightful, man. This is visual representation yeah. of memories, trauma processing, Because we've only storage. just heard about this stuff. Struck her. Don't be scared. You already lived it once. That's kind of what a therapist would tell you. It's okay to be scared, but you got through it the first time. <gasps> Loki. Mm. Begin experimentation. She was just going to be killed if it didn't work. So I'm assuming now Agatha is going to know about the stones if she doesn't already know about the stones. Tony had to create some extra thing to contain that. Mm. Oh, there you go. Did you see the Scarlet Witch yeah, descending? You see. It was in that moment. No. Everyone else had died, but she, she did it. <laughs> they can't even see it. No. I have a theory, but I need more. Yes, so do we. Many. The Scarlet Witch is to protect her. That part of yourself. Now come in the middle. Stage I don't mean to intrude. <laughs> Heisenberg. It is funny because of the grievous injury the man just suffered. No, it's, not. <laughs> it's not that kind of show. Hmm. Wonder, I. She's with him, but she's still alone. The Scarlet Witch has been protecting her all along, trying to meet her needs, because no one else did. Deep. Because it can't all be sorrow. I've always been alone. What is grief, if not love persevering? <sighs> Them bars there. Them bars. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's nothing. The I one, love vision. The ones you gotta check. Is it is it funny? Yeah. <laughs> Them socially awkward peeps. That's true. Vision's autistic. Like oh, me. Man. Parents dead, brother dead, vision dead. What happened when he wasn't there to pull you back from the darkness? Someone's always been there, pull her back. Monica Tell had me that. How you yeah. Did. Wonder doesn't. 
Is that true or is Agatha trying to plant ideas in her head? This is the bit she doesn't remember. When I came back, he was gone. He deserves a funeral. It seems as if she had good intentions. I got it. She's okay. <laughs> this woman, her whole life, manipulated, violated, traumatized. Wanda Maximoff. We're gonna meet the real bad guy now. Yeah, man. I'd like to show you something. And then you'll give them to me. When the men are not answering the questions they are asking, when they're being a politician, bull crap. Bullshit. Why are you showing me this? That's vision. Because you asked to see it. This is what sent her. You've ripped his body apart. The love of her life, and you're just cutting him up in front Wayward of her. Wayward did it. Wayward, Wayward instigated it. Do you understand? What Oh my god. What are you doing? We're dismantling the most sophisticated sentient weapon ever made. I just want to bury him. That's not how you tell somebody though. He is reveling in hurting her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kind of power that could bring their soulmate back online. I can't do that. That's not why I'm here. It was all about the weapon for him. It's It's almost as if hey, like Wayward wanted her to yes. take him. Yes, I bet you he wasn't. And, and, he wasn't getting anywhere. He didn't know how to make yeah, it yeah. and fix him. So it's, it's in his best interest that she takes him. Well, he gave her the idea. Yeah, yeah, it was all him. She was like, I can't do that. Wayward. The Scarlet Witch can do it though, and he only showed what he wanted to show to Monica. When I said to you, I see her negatively after she stole Vision's body. All is not what it seems. I can't feel him there. Hmm? So what? She didn't even steal the body. She's driving to Das Jersey. That says Trenton on the Westview Town. Hey, these are all the people from the episodes. The postman. He's a delivery man. Even her car is burgundy or scarlet. Can we just give this woman credit? How is she even functioning right now? Wonder Maximoff and the Vision. It's the land that they were going to build their home on. <laughs> here we go. Oh, here we go. This was it. It came out. Look at that. Everything that she had in her mind. Oh, wow. I had that. What? She's recreating him from scratch. You're kidding me. That's no way. As Dick Van Dyke. She did that. She did that. She, that's crazy. That's why he can't leave the hex. Because this vision is the one that is solely, is created from her mind. Yes. The one that is in pieces is still there, right? One. Still at sword. It was all hers, it all came out of her. Now we're behind the scenes. She wants that power, I guess, right? You can't harness that power, that is like... Oh. Pain. <gasps> I know what you are. Oh my god. You're supposed to be a myth, a being capable of spontaneous creation. What a transformation. Look at her. This is chaos magic, Wanda. Yes. That makes you a scarlet witch. Okay. All right, there you go. She's got it. She's got it now. Slap that. Give me my name. Slap that name. Ah, that was heavy, man. I was bawling. Mm -mm, I see you. My nose was running. You were mosh. The director wanted us to see the timeline of her trauma. You guys really want to know why all of this happened, you know, why she became the Scarlet Witch? Or just in case you've been told in installments, here is the timeline of events. It painted a picture and the picture was very... Scarlet? We got to see things that we never saw before. So many of you were right about so many things. Yeah. Like the toaster advert, the bomb going off. Okay, okay. This motherfucker. I said Wayward was messed up. All we needed was a little energy directly from the source. 
<laughs> oh my lord. Oh man. The silver vision. The grey vision. Vision Manhattan. <laughs> vision Manhattan. Oh. oh. I need to take a nap. Wake me up tomorrow. <laughs> you know, when I mean, you, you can't say nothing. Wow. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I have to say, I have to say, another wicked episode. As usual, this one was better than the previous one. Wow. Best episode yet. Wow. This episode was crazy. Like... The first scene, you know, we're still in the basement. Yeah. Agatha's got Wanda. We're trapped in the basement. <laughs> What's going on in the basement? What's going on, Wanda? She just trapped by Agatha's power. Yeah. And, you know, Agatha is flaunting herself and saying, explain to me why you so strong, girl. You know, tell me the story. So we get the story. We get the story and I know we've heard the story. We know the story, but to see the visual representation of the most traumatic events of her life unfold yeah. was just so heavy. It was so heavy to watch. The viewer, you have to watch a child go mm. through it. You don't just have to yeah. hear her tell yeah. you a story as an adult. But before we got to that, we got to see Agatha's story. Ooh. And Agatha's story is a bit unique because we find her, you know, on trial mm. for practicing the dark arts. Yeah. And it seems to us that one of the people that have her on trial, the queen witch or whatever, whatever you call it, the head witch. Supreme. The supreme. To borrow language from Coven, American Horror Story. Oh yeah, American Horror Story. Mm. Shout series. out Evan Wood. Yeah, it seems like she is her mum. Yes. Her own mother knew how dangerous she was and was like, we've got to destroy you. Sorry, honey. You know what? I didn't actually clock, but until now I realised, right. in that scene, Agatha almost got taken over. Like, it looked like she was taken over. Do you know what? Yeah, for a second it looked like she was possessed, but then I thought to myself, maybe she was just showing her true colours. Yeah, that is definitely Maybe that was just her. Yeah. You know, that's just her. Coming out. Because mm. at the beginning of the conversation, she was like, oh, it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. And then she was like, yes, you motherfuckers. <laughs> I want that knowledge. Mm. So, um, but what's even more messed up, I mean, they were trying to kill her, I guess. Yeah. That's her punishment. But she reversed it. So she definitely is practicing those dark arts. Because yeah. I assume, you know, you can only do that kind of shit if you're practicing the dark arts. Yeah, man. So she reversed that shit. Like, Missy Elliott, she just... <laughs> and reverse yeah. it. It's your permit if it's wet yet. Yeah, man, those people, they needed some shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil concoction Them, mixture they just for that dried skin out. boy. They dried out. That like, was... Dry mm -hmm. roasted peanuts. Yeah, raisins. But it was sick to see the power, the way the power colours changed. So yeah. they were using blue power. <laughs> using mm. blue power. And then she used purple power, like Power Rangers. Go Purple <laughs> Rangers! We see what's in Wanda's head, you know? Mm. And we finally get to visit her trauma. Yeah. Her trauma episodes. Let's call mm. them that, okay? So the first one we see is her spending some family time. Her brother, her mom, and her dad. And... You know, it's quite cool because we get to see a little bit of the program she watched and yeah. some of the shows that her show, WandaVision, has been based on. I think we saw... I Love Lucy. I Love Lucy. Malcolm in the Middle was one of the videos in, yeah. in the box. There was... There were a few others, and uh, we've only watched it once, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know... The Dick Van Dyke show. That the was Dick the show that they were watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a little glance of that we already said that her influences were those shows anyway mm. so we clearly get to see that and that is confirmed yeah in that scene which is quite cool to see that all of our theories were right yeah um and your theories around or our shared theories around this was a way to learn english learn about america yeah. spend time together as a family all of that stuff that's that proved true as well so good on you lot who figured that out from the beginning Mm. Had, had that guest from episode two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, of course, the bomb goes off. Her parents are dead, as we know. And we now know 
she was left for two days. Was it two days? Yeah. With a ticking bomb. Yes. While she was under the bed with her brother. And, you know, for her child to spend two days... With a bomb ticking. Because you, you know what happens with bombs. You know eventually they blow up. So just being stuck there thinking, when is my life going to end? Is this yeah. going to go off imminently? How long is it going to take? To just be trapped there. Yeah. And interestingly for Agatha to be thinking that one day had used some kind of power to stop the bomb from going off mm, at yeah. such a young age. Agatha seems to think that she was already a witch. Mm. And, you know, rather than the Mind Stone giving her the powers, all the Mind Stone did was heighten yeah. her powers. But, yeah, I mean, for someone so young to experience that, I don't even know. It is... And to never, ever deal with it. Because, what did she say? She it's just protect, all a bad dream. She tried to protect mm. her brother, basically. Yeah. And it seems as if she's always done that from a young age. It that was. was so insightful to see. But... And how the scene connects to the advert with the toaster. Mm. The, to the Stark bomb, the Stark Industries bomb not going yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people can, clocked that mm. might have been related. That tip, 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 tip mm. for two days. And we move on to more trauma. Mm. And Strucker, this mofo, doing his testing, doing whatever he's doing to her, wants to find out if she's going to be the one to fully utilise the power of the Mind Stone. To survive it. Everyone else has died. So they were just expecting her to die too. And we see her. She survives it. And she absorbs its power. And I think we see a bit of a Scarlet Witch in her eye, I guess. A little bit. Yeah, descending down like an angel. Mm. The outline of the Scarlet Witch just sort of descending into her. Yeah, that was cool, man. Ooh, and the deleted clip that Scarlet Witch blocked. Oh, yeah. Struck her from seeing when they tried to rewind yeah. it. What's that all about, guys? Mm. It looks like maybe Scarlet Witch deleted it. Mm, maybe, trying to protect Wanda. What do you guys think? More trauma, more trauma. Mm -hmm. Conversation with Vision, I think, after Pietro has died. Yeah. And Vision answering questions very frankly. And they had a really, really important conversation. And Vision said something really, really insightful. Yeah. He said, grief is love persevering. Mm. I think that sentence is so, so strong, you know, because it shows that love is such a powerful emotion. It can come in so many forms. Like love can be the undertone, but grief can still sit on top. Like. And he, he's speaking about not having had any love, therefore not going to experience grief because he's not got anything to lose. Yeah. Until Wanda, until he falls for Wanda. Mm. And Agatha said something really, really important as well. And I think I've verbalised it before. What are you going to do when Vision's not around to pick you up? Mm. When Monica went through the hex, I said, Monica is similar to Wanda. In, in the sense that they're both grieving um, and they've both been through trauma. But Monica has something to lean on, whereas Wanda doesn't. Mm. And that's what sets, or at least sends Wanda into the overflow of raw emotion that we see mm. later on in the episode. When you've lost everybody that's ever been an anchor to you throughout your life, and you've not just lost them, but lost them in incredibly traumatic ways. The pain that must emanate from within and the support you must need to get through something like that. She didn't really have She's anybody around. She's never had, never had it, never. It's just, everyone's just taken, taken, yeah. taken. She's always had to hold everyone else up. Her needs have never really been met. And because of her power, she's, I wouldn't say never. Because you can't say someone, I was going to say she's never had to face reality. But I mean, your parents dying is pretty real. You know, mm. <laughs> now, because of her power, she doesn't have to face reality. And why should I have to face reality? Look at my reality. Yeah. Fuck that shit, man. I ain't facing that shit no more. Whoop. Yeah, it was incredible to see how that pain emanated from her. I guess when you spend your whole life compartmentalizing all your traumas instead of finding healthy ways to heal them, you have a, a huge explosion of emotions. It's a, yeah. meta it's a metaphor. Wayward, wayward. We get the scene with wayward. And mm. Wanda. And we all thought, and don't try, guys. Most of you guys did. In fact, you know what? Some of you guys didn't. Well yeah. done, well done. We, we can only see what's being presented in front of us sometimes. And what we saw was Wanda apparently 
taking Vision's body. Yeah. But we didn't actually see her take his body. No. Nope. But because we know Vision is there with Wanda, we just put two and two together and we went, oh my God, she stole Vision's body. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, that's not cool. No. But now we see the truth and I'm like, wayward you, Man, wayward this gave guy. gave him the right nickname from the beginning. We knew. Sorry, we I'm knew. Call, yeah, I'm calling him wayward and it's... It's just natural for me to call you yeah. Wayward now. Flip and you guys too in the comments have been calling Wayward. Let's keep it up. We need to get Wayward trending somehow. I don't even care about credit. <laughs> I just, this guy needs to come down. I need Monica and Scarlet Witch to team the fuck up and you take know, this motherfucker out. You freedom file. You, you make me laugh. It's, like, it's just not real. We need to get Wayward now. <laughs> and the more and more that scene went on, the more and more it looked like Wayward orchestrated the whole damn thing. He planted a seed in her head. He filled her with rage. He made her see what he wanted her to see. He cut and edited that like he was getting it ready for YouTube, bro. I'm for real. You, he, sh he showed the angles like it was something else, but it wasn't that at all. <laughs> it was like the Stormzy and Chip Beef. <laughs> one, man showed one video, but we have no idea. <laughs> Tell the phone, isn't it? You think you could just pull up to people's houses? There's no one ain't gonna phone you, Stormzy. You're disrespectful, bro. And that's that. But still hasn't answered. Man showed one side of the story, yeah. though. Man clipped it nicely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's a waste man still. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he's that guy. He's that guy at the top. In the real world, he'll be that guy at the top pulling the strings. Yeah. That we don't even know is pulling the strings. Where he was in control, you don't even know man's in control. One that goes to Westview. Mm. And we see all the characters in the yeah. TV show doing normal stuff, living living their life. And Wanda arrives at her plot of land, the plot of land that she was going to build her new house with Vision. Mm, they had the deed. Yeah. Uh, that's why Westview. We wondered why West Westview. And now we know. Now we know why she chose Westview. And that was what sent her over the edge, I guess. And that scene was so epic to see, I mean, what kind of power do, does does she need to generate to, or produce to generate, or to mm. generate to produce or to whatever to create? I mean, everything came out of her. Yeah, out of the Every, core of her. Everything. Born out of her pain, born out of her emotion. That's, she constructed every detail of that house for them. Every detail. And rewrote people's lives, even as Agatha was talking about earlier on in the episode. She's like, you've got glamours running eight miles down out of town yeah. at the same time How as you're you like controlling that? this. How is she doing that? It was so incredible just to see her make all of that. Mm. All of that is her. And don't even get me started on, she created vision from scratch. Mm. And am I wrong? But is it, it's really him because both of them are born out of the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone. And it's like, but it's almost like she created him from scratch from that moment forward. So he hasn't got memories before. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I'm and a bit confused. No, no, I think you might be right. Let us know if mm. you agree, as usual, guys. Um, you know, if you disagree, let us know if you disagree. And then the epic ending scene with Agatha holding the kids hostage and that whole showdown where we finally get the name spoken out loud. Scarlet Witch, baby. She's here. And we get the tie into the chaos magic. I don't know if you clocked, but even from episode two or three, we already had the chaos magic vibe kind of going on. Yeah. We were mentioning, we were thinking a bit about it, wondering when we were going to get to see this kind mm. of explored. And there you go. That is chaos magic. There you have it. She created a whole world within a world. She recreated vision from scratch. Yeah. She rewrote their their memories she you know when i was saying who's how strong is agatha how strong is agatha yeah i mean she looks mm -hmm. pretty strong mm -hmm. she absorbed the powers of all those witches and whatever yeah, yeah but there's levels to this shit agatha i told you and you weren't listening and you know what it's like it's like what's going on with premier league football right now there's loads and loads of really talent naturally talented gifted young players and the old school players the the commentators they're all bitter like <laughs> agatha <laughs> like, oh, I've had to work really hard. Yeah, I've had to yeah. train. I didn't get paid as much. I did, did, did. Some of them are on Sky Sports, but we're not going to say names mm -hmm. out here still. Mm -hmm. Some of them hate players. Certain players. Certain players. Certain players are to blame for everything wrong in the mm -hmm. world, apparently. But anyway, we digress. Anyway, we digress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like when people are just jealous of other people, like how it's unfair that you naturally got something, but 
Hello, Agatha. Were you paying attention to how she naturally got these gifts? Look what she went through. Weren't you listening to my story? She wasn't listening. She didn't get the, the rerun from these, Darcy. She needs try, to go and sit and watch all 23 episodes. She's going to choke, choke out the kids as well, you know. She how tried, dare she? She tried to choke out some kids. Listen, I'm reporting her to social care immediately. That oh. woman. But we're, we're surely we're leading up now to the epic showdown of all showdowns. The Scarlet Witch has to has to emerge now, right? This is the final straw. She cannot have her children harmed. I might be asking a silly question. Let me know if I am. But if Wanda's powers weren't working down in the basement, why did Agatha go upstairs onto the street? Why that, couldn't why she just What's Agatha doing? Just, what is her I think strategically, one may argue she's doing it because now she knows she needs to push her further for the Scarlet Witch to emerge and show mm. the true depth of her powers. I now understand your point of view. Mm. Your perspective is clear to me now. Mm. She tried to trigger Wanda mm. by showing her her trauma. Indeed. She didn't quite change, but mm -hmm. she thinks now mm. doing this to the children yes. will ensure that Scarlet Witch emerges and then when she emerges, she will slap her. Yes. The ghost of witch must pass, Agatha, taking her through all the traumas. She's building her up. Just like Magneto built up Jean Grey, pushed her to the limit. Built up, yeah. That's the word we're using. Egged on, riled up. Egged on. Stressed out. Mm, poked. Moved, whatever, yeah. Poked the bear. Mm. And I can't help but draw parallels between Dark Phoenix and Scarlet Witch. I definitely see it. Obviously, we know who's more powerful. Come on. Dark Phoenix, know. but this witch. is still... Mm. And imagine if we could see those two crossover to the same universe. Woo you got this. You got this fantasy booking, in it. <laughs> Round one, fight! You can get your PR team, you get this fantasy booking <laughs> sorted. Oh, the oh. end. post credit scene. I've been saying, didn't I say at the very beginning when we started doing this, there are many versions of Vision as well in the comic books. There's even a silver version of Vision. And we saw that, baby. Silver! These mofos, I mean, they, they harnessed the power from the rocket. And yes, we did. We My did. guy's looking at his hand. Vision Manhattan, he's got the blue tint <laughs> glow. Didn't we say about another episode, what do you do to make something more cool? Slap some blue on it. Sl there we go. Slap that blue. Slap that. <laughs> but um, you know it's crazy because mm. these guys, these guys use Scarlet Witch's power. Yes. You know they everyone's sorry. Always yeah. Well, I think you're gonna say everyone is always using her. Yeah. Right. Everyone's using her. Manipulating Everyone just her. take, take, take. But violating her mind, her body, literally. They use that power that's left on the missile and made another vision. So now we have two visions. And it's good because clearly these two are going to fight, you know? Mm. And I'm all for that. Yeah. Well, this new vision, the silver vision, is going to get into the hex somehow. Ooh. If he's made of Wanda's power or power source, surely he won't be evil. Oh, gosh. We don't even know. We don't know what's going to happen, guys. Mm. What's going to happen? Let us know. We didn't see vision. No. Not the other, no. We didn't see Darcy. Nope. We just saw the kids at the very end. We didn't see Monica. No. We know who Quicksilver is anyway. Mm. Pietro is. So what's going to happen next? Because the next episode is the final episode. Yeah. That's it. It's got to be the showdown. There's going to be a showdown between Agnes and Wanda. I mean, they've come outside the house now. Isn't... No, wait, we don't know where Monica is. We don't know where Monica is because, as we know, Quicksilver is an extension of... Agatha. Agatha. What's happened to Monica mm. and Pietro? How is this going to lead into the multiverse of madness? Is Agatha going to do something to the kids and so Wanda's going to have to go through the multiverses to try and get them back? Because I think if, if Agatha harms the children or takes them away from Wanda... Where can she go from there? That's like... Yeah, the, yeah. Even worse than everything combined. I think we took our eye off Hayward a little bit. Mm. I think it's... It's been Hayward all, all along. It's been Hayward. It's been Hayward, you know? Because Hayward led... Or we drove. Yes, Wanda you're right. He was the to driver. Create, to create the hex in the first place. You see, planting those seeds. You know, we can't have a being that can recreate someone from scratch. And she's like, I can't do that. What are you talking about, bruv? But it gave her the seed. Yeah. 
yeah this one's been good you know we could go on for a long time with this one we literally could i think we have already yeah <laughs> flipping it there's so much more there's so yeah. much more that i know that we've missed that's the thing i'm here and i'm thinking there's more of course there's more we've yeah. literally just watched this yes. paused it for a minute and then started speaking about it yeah at, from the top of our head and just freestyling mm. There's so much that can happen in the last episode. And that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. How can they wrap it up? Mm, they can't. They're going to leave it all juicy and, like, you want it more. Mm. And we've got Please, sir. And I know I'm going to be like this after episode nine at the end. I'm going to be the real Oliver Twist. <laughs> yeah, that it's episode... Been a, it's been a brilliant series. This episode made you end on a hype, like, oh, my God, vision. The end credit scene was even mm. up and ante on the last end credit scene. Ah, uh, you know, seeing Vision's body. I mean, it's crazy because I'm watching that episode and I'm like, he's a machine. So I'm watching it like mentally he's a machine. But at the same time, I'm looking at her emotions and I'm like, no, he's not a machine to her. He's more than that. So I was watching it from two different perspectives. Mm. I was watching it objectively. I guess if you want to call it that, he's a machine. They're taking him apart. But... I was also, towards the end of that scene, watching it from her perspective and feeling a lot of emotion, yes. trying to understand her. Because I did say in, in one of the episodes that, is she the bad guy here? She's not the victim here. But watching this episode and going through her trauma with her, visually, and not just, not just visually, we could hear her. Mm. Hear her cries and hear her pain. So, is she now a victim? But who's a victim? We're all victims. But at the same time, we all cause harm to each other. Sometimes when we don't even know. Mm. Maybe we're all victims and perpetrators. Maybe those two words shouldn't even be used mm. in this context. I do think she's a victim based on her experience. She went in there asking to see his body to be able to pay respects and put him to rest. Mm -mm. I mean, she even she went to Tony's funeral only very recently. So she wants to be able to do that yeah. for the love of her life. And Haywood wanted her to see that image and the thing is although he is a creation created from jarvis we know he's a not a human as such but he was still a being with a soul the mind zone gave him a soul mm. just because we see the shell it's a metaphor for death just because you see the shell of a body the soul's not in there but it doesn't yeah. mean that that body isn't what it was who it was what it, what they mean to somebody mm. and yeah when she had to go down there and she put her hand on his head and she said i can't feel you in there she was trying. She was just leaving very peacefully. Like, after all of that, Milo just went and got in her car and just drove away peacefully to go to where they were going to supposed to have the rest of their lives together. Yeah. And like I said, why should I face reality when I can create this shit? Look what I've created, my own reality. Once again, the question of what is reality will resurface. And yeah. then, like I said, we can have a long ass conversation about this. But, but this episode, man, it was heavy. Yeah. It was very, very intense, very heavy. It, it punched you. In the face. Well, not in my face. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that chest punch? Is that... <clears throat> you're not... <clears throat> you got a fair bit. <clears throat> That's what the episode did. Mm. That bang in your chest... As you can see, we love this episode. Let us know if we've missed anything, please. Thank you guys for responding and conversing with us. One more episode left, unfortunately. We're going to have to say goodbye to this one after next week. But don't worry, there's going to be a lot more to come. Yeah. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier in two weeks. There's going to be movies. There's, there's going to be TV series. And, you know, Marvel and the MCU isn't the only thing that we're going to discuss mm. here on this channel, isn't the only thing we're going to react to either, not just movies, as I've said many times, it's going to be a TV series, it's going to be music, it's going to be pop culture, it could be anything. You know, we just want to have discussions mm. and good reactions to positive, fun, interesting things. Thank you guys for joining us, man. It's been wicked. Leave your comments below. Smash the like button. Turn on the notifications. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> For more content like this.